Hello there! In this lesson, we'll be changing these shoes into these shoes by painting them in a design inspired by Piet Mondrian. And we'll be using these fantastic dual tip acrylic paint pens to do it. If you haven't used these before, you will really like how versatile they are. The fine tip allows for precise detailing and the broad tip enables larger areas to be covered. We purchased these shoes from our local department store. They are vinyl, but paint pens will work on leather and canvas shoes also. The first step is to remove the laces and prepare the surface by cleaning it. If you are using canvas shoes, you can paint them straight away. In the case of vinyl or leather, you can use hand sanitizer as a prepping agent. Just ensure it has 75% alcohol. Use a paper towel to apply this. Once the shoes are dry, we use the fine tip on the black paint pen to draw a line down the center of the tongue. You might like to print out an example of Piet Mondrian's painting to give you some guidance, but basically all of the lines intersect to form squares and rectangles, and smaller sections lie in between these shapes. The paint in acrylic paint pens dries very quickly, but it still takes a few minutes to become touch dry. So to avoid smudging, lay the vertical lines in first on one side of the shoe and put it aside to dry. Then do the side for the other shoe. If you like this project, we've got loads more on our website. Jump online to check out our Create blog and sign up with Creative Connection to get lessons, inspo tips and more sent directly to your inbox. Staying inspired doesn't have to cost a cent. Once the vertical lines are in, to create the sections on the tongue, close the shoe and follow the lines from the side of the shoe to the center line of the tongue. The sides of the shoe can then be held back and the partial lines can be extended across the tongue. Once all of the vertical lines are laid in, follow the same process with horizontal lines. Then create smaller ones inside the ones just created. Mondrian used red, yellow and blue in his artwork. So we start with the red and the toe is the first area laid in. When using a paint marker, it has to be well mixed, so give it a good shake and prime the fine tip. Then the perimeter of each shape can be laid in, and then the interior can be blocked in with the broad tip. If you are right-handed, a good practice is to work from left to right, so you don't smudge any paint with the back of your hand. Obviously, if you are left-handed, then you would work from right to left. Follow the same procedure of finishing the colours on one side of each shoe, and while it is drying, work on the side of the other shoe. Once all the red areas have been painted in, we can follow the same steps but with yellow. The yellow is in, now we can add the blue. The final step is to relay in the black lines to clean it all up. Mm -hmm. 
Now we just have to put in the laces and we're good to go. Well, thanks for watching. Stay inspired and don't miss a video from us. Subscribe and leave a comment below with what you'd like us to create next. We'd love to hear from you.